Hi everyone, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota Scion. My name is Chris and today we're going to take a look at this 2010 Toyota RAV4. This is a limited edition of the RAV4 and an awesome pre-owned SUV we have here at Sherwood Park Toyota. Absolutely beautiful, this is the grey Pyrite Mica exterior color which looks really really good. You do have the 3.5 liter V6 engine under the hood of this RAV4. You have automatic lights with daytime running lights of course, fog lights with chrome accenting underneath which looks really good. Everything on the front is in great shape. You've got some chrome on your grill, which looks really good. Absolutely beautiful. Take a look down here. These are your 17-inch BF Goodrich mud and snow tires. You've got alloy rims all the way around. You have four-wheel disc brakes and nitrogen in all four of your tires. Tires are in awesome shape. Not going to give you any trouble. You've got some mud flaps to help keep the side of this RAV4 nice and clean. Wheel opening moldings. You've got some limited badging right there show off all the goodies that you have on this RAV4 and all looks really good lots to see inside including a power tilt and sliding sunroof up top there and I will show you around if you want to follow me alright let's show you how to get into this beautiful 2010 Toyota RAV4 Limited with four wheel drive of course and the 3.5 liter V6 engine this RAV4 does have smart key access so you can use the integrated key fob that you get direct from Toyota as your lock unlock as well as panic button on it you can use that it works beautifully or if you don't want to pull that out, you've got your hands full, come up here. That little black button is the smart key access system. All you have to do is have this key fob on your person somewhere, in your pocket, in your purse. And to lock the vehicle, just come up here and press the little black button. You'll hear a beep. That means the RAV4 is now locked. To get into the vehicle, all you have to do again, have that key fob on you somewhere. Put your hand behind the handle as if you're going to open the door. It beeps twice and it is now unlocked. So that's an awesome feature. If your hands are full, you don't want to pull that key out, you can just hit those buttons, pull the handle, and it's always going to let you in. It's a very smart little RAV4. On the door here are all your power options, driver window automatic down, there is your power door locks, as well as door handle, big speaker, bottle holder, all that good stuff. Take a look at this little orange tag, that is for your JBL premium sound system. Sounds really great, that's an awesome thing to have. And down below here are your carpet floor mats. They're direct from the factory. They say RAV4. They look really good as well. As you can see, they're nice and clean. Sometimes beige carpet floor mats get really dirty and really gross, but these are actually beautiful. Taken care of very well. You have leather throughout this RAV4. Bucket seats up front. This uh, driver's seat is powered. I'll show you that in just a sec. There's your power tilt and sliding center up top. And you can see the tag for your side impact airbag as well. There are your controls, forward, back, up, down, recline, and lumbar, so you can get that set exactly how you need it to be most comfortable. If you take a look, there's your dimmer switch, your uh, controls for your downhill assist, and power outlet as well. Let's go ahead and fire this up. You do have push button ignition in this RAV4 as part of the smart key access system. All you have to do is have that key fob in the vehicle here, put your foot on the brake, light's going to turn green. That means you're good to go, hit the button and it'll fire right up. There we go, on this RAV4, 77,511 kilometers. As you can see, all the warning lights do go out. Red one just flashing there means I need my seatbelt on. Green one means I have my headlights on. As you can see, everything else goes out. Everything looks great. You've got a temperature gauge up there. Looks beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. We're in the showroom. If not, we will fill it with fumes. That'll be bad. I'll get in trouble. So we'll turn accessory mode back on. There's your automatic headlights on your turn signal there. Set them, forget them. The RAV4 will always know when you need to turn them on. Here's your leather wrapped steering wheel with audio controls on the left hand side here. Bluetooth telephone and display controls on the right hand side. And cruise control tucked nicely in behind there so when you're out on the highway, click that on. It'll be very convenient for you. Like I said, leather wrapped so it's nice and comfy. Here is your audio system. Let's turn it on here. Like I said, it is a JBL sound system which is very nice. It's going to sound awesome. You do have XM satellite radio as well. There's XM, channel 1, which is awesome. You do have AM, of course, auxiliary, as well as CD and MP3 capabilities. All your presets as well, everything that you're going to need. Very nice. And down below here is your dual zone automatic climate control. So you've got driver temperature over here, as well as an automatic button. In the middle, you've got all your different zones, as well as your fan speed. And over here on the right, you've got your passenger temperature, as well as AC, rear defrost, and lots of other good stuff. You've got a clock, a little display, so it shows you everything in there. Turn it on. So you can change the driver temperature. Up, down, fan speed, up or down, different zones, whatever you need to do. No one's going to fight because you can always pick your own temperature, which is very nice, very convenient as well. 
Down below here you've got your traction control. You do have your driver and passenger heated seats. So winter is coming unfortunately. But in this RAV4 you'll be nice and toasty warm. That is your windshield wiper de-icer button right there. Another awesome thing to have in the winter. And a power outlet. Cup holders down below. Here is your automatic transmission with low gear selection. Power mirror control is in the center here as well as your auxiliary input. And then you have a nice big storage console here. Two tiered, which is even better. Leather bucket seat for your passengers in beautiful shape as well. I love the beige interior. It looks really good. You don't often see beige interiors, so they're they're nice. They're a bit refreshing over black or gray. You also have two glove boxes in this RAV4. Down below is the one with your uh, car information, so your owner's manual information on your nitrogen-filled tires. Up top here, you can put more of your personal stuff. And it closes right up to hide everything. You have airbags up front for driver and passenger. You have airbags up front side impact for front driver and passenger. And you have side curtain airbags for front and rear. So no matter where you're sitting in this RAV4, there is an airbag that will protect you. One more thing i got to show you up here. Wait for it. There it is. That is your integrated backup camera into your mirror, which is awesome. So you can always see exactly what's behind you. Put the vehicle into drive or into park. And it goes back to your auto dimming rear view mirror, which is very nice. That's an awesome feature. Very safe. You can always see what's behind you. Controls for your power tilt and sliding sunroof are up here. And then, there it is. Your power tilt and sliding sunroof itself. Open that up on a hot summer day. It'll help get the air out of this RAV4. Help cool it down a bit. Which is very nice. Let's in some light as well. There's the button for your four-wheel drive lock. Don't think I showed you that. All right. So much stuff up here. I want to make sure I didn't forget it all. There's also more in the back, so follow me and I'll show you around. All right, let's jump in the back of the 2010 Toyota RAV4 Limited. Once again, this is the gray pyrite mica exterior color. It's super nice. It's sort of a green or gray, depending on where the light hits it. Once again, you've got a roof rack up top. You've got tinted windows on the back. It's a five-passenger SUV. You've got two up front. You've got three in the rear. These power windows do roll all the way down, so you're getting lots of air back here if you're riding in the back. Got a little bottle, bottle holder and a speaker on the door. Everything looks really good. Your carpet floor mats back here are beautifully clean, just like the front, which is awesome. Got them on both sides there. You got map pockets on the back of the seat. You got a power outlet in the center there. Like I said, side curtain airbags back here as well. Here's your 60-40 split rear seat. It also reclines. As you can see, the left side is reclined a bit more than the right side. So you can literally lounge back here while you're riding. You're always going to be pretty comfy. You have headrests. You have child seat anchors, child safety locks, rear defrosted glass, and what was I going to say? One more thing I was going to say, and I just forgot it. Maybe it's a center seat armrest with cup holders. To put the rear seats down, there's a little handle right here. Give it a pull. Seats fold forward super easily. Then you've got all that access to the back, which is really nice. So you can put one side down, one side up. If you've got one person you want to put over there and some cargo, you can do that. People, cargo, cargo, people, whatever you got to do. And I'm about 6'3". I was sitting back here while I took the pictures, and I had lots of headroom, lots of knee room. So uh, no matter how tall you are, you should fit back there. No problem. Everything on the back looks awesome as well. All your badging. You've got your Toyota RAV4 on this side with your license plate. Your spare tire cover painted to match the vehicle, which is very nice. And your four-wheel drive badging on this side as well. One of my personal favorite features of the RAV4, I'll show you first of all the smart key access is on the back as well. But one of my favorite features of the RAV4 is these doors, the rear hatch, that opens sideways and not up. Because you don't have to lift a heavy door up above your head. It's never going to come crashing down. You never have to reach up to close it. It just takes a lot less effort to get in, a lot less effort to close and open. And like I say, it's never going to come crashing down on you. Not that others do, but there is that danger. You have controls back here. These controls will also put the rear seats down. So if you're in the back here, you can also get those folded super easily. You've got in-floor storage because your rear spare tire, or your spare tire is on the rear. You've got uh, storage in the floor there, which is very nice. Lots of room. Everything looks really good. Like I said, with this door, I'll show you the JBL sticker even on the rear speaker. To close the door, give it a little push. And it closes. Look at that. That's awesome. You can see the uh, cup holder when the seat's folded forward and the center armrest.
You also have integrated turn signals on your mirrors. <coughs> Excuse me. I was going to say before that, if you'd like some more information on this beautiful 2010 Toyota RAV4 Limited with a 3.5 liter V6 with four wheel drive, please do give us a call here at Sherwood Park Toyota. You can reach us at 1 888 419 8955. You can also find us at sptoyota.com. Or better yet, come down and see the RAV4 for yourself. Come down and see us. We would love to meet you. We're at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.